the Quran Lee app. Subscription cheaper than Netflix, encouraging Quran reading, modern, engaging, and fun. Download it today. Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. So I was browsing the news for the day as you do and as you're going down you know it takes a lot nowadays especially the post-Trump well current Boris Johnson Modi era that we're living in it takes a lot for us to go whoa hang on a minute right there and when I saw this bit of news I had to go yo is this it, what, what day is it? Is it April Fools or? Well nowadays it seems like every day is April Fools. No, that's a gen, yeah. <laughs> North Korea marks the 10th death anniversary of its former leader Kim Jong-il by conducting an 11 day mourning period. But in case you're wondering maybe a symbolic mate yeah they just upset and who can blame them? You couldn't be far from the truth. During these 11 days there is a ban on laughter, there is a ban on drinking alcohol, there is a ban and this is like this is quite worrying, there's a ban on grocery shopping. Yo how dare you buy mushrooms and tomatoes when our leader died mate? Yeah not even that but back in the days. Yeah, have some shame mate. But I'm starving, we don't have any food. A, B, C, I'm out the door. Not looking sad enough in public is a crime. Celebrating your own birthday. How dare you celebrate your birthday when our leader died mate, ten, 10 years ago. And if your family member dies and you're more sad, even that's a punishable crime. I'm not making any of this up as you guys saw on the screen and nor am I making up the fact that North Korea is a, let's face it, a Marxist country and we know Marxism and religion don't go hand in hand. In fact there is no official religion in North Korea so that makes it an atheist country yeah. But in case you're saying well that's not enough okay they actively preach against religion and those people that do practice religion there's, there's, there's problems for them. In fact in 2013 loads of Christians were killed. Sounds like atheism has got a lot to answer for, right? But then they'll say oh well North Korea is not representative of all atheists or they're not practicing atheism properly. If you want to see atheism done properly look at the Scandinavian countries mate. Well let's not even get into the suicide rates and depression there. Or technically they worship their leader so it is kind of a religion. Yeah kind of but it's not and ironically it's the same reasons that we theists give but it's never enough apparently. And after reading about the country and watching documentaries I've distilled two main things from the content that I've seen. Point number one the punishment for transgressions is very severe and or death. Point number two the leader is praised morning, afternoon, evening on controlled media and anyone who does and says otherwise refer back to point number one. So this is a very good case study as was Marxism and communism for those who say do away with God and you will see how happy people become and how prosperous they become. So much for that theory. Even George Orwell's famous dystopian novel 1984 talks about a society in which there's no religion. No one talks about religion and when we revisit GK Chesterton's quote when men choose not to believe in God they do not thereafter believe in nothing they then become capable of believing in anything and in North Korea it's just gone nuts mate. They're pretty much forced to worship their leader. Their lives are controlled by this individual in terms of <laughs> what they eat, what they wear, how they talk. Oh the same issues that you people have with religion. Here you've got a person that is being worshipped mate and that's the thing with this world that we're living in. Either you're worshipping materialism, you're worshipping people or you're worshipping the one true God. That's right and we're not saying worshipping blindly, do your research, read the Quran, look at its inherent message of monotheism, believing in one God and having a personal relationship with God Allah. Let's leave it there guys until next time. Assalamu alaikum.